Why is a Renault 19 16 valve invading your computer screen? Firstly, it was my favorite car from when I was a lot younger. And secondly, I'm using it to get a point across about a lift motor. Imagine you are slowing down for a red traffic light. You go down the gears back to first gear. Or so you think because you've accidentally put it in reverse. Now, unless the car behind you stopped very close, this is not too much of a problem. It's more of an embarrassment. That's because humans sense things like this and take appropriate action. A lift on the other hand doesn't, unless you build something in to detect it. What if someone accidentally connected a lift up in reverse? The lift wants to go up, but instead it goes down. Not too much of a big deal because the lift will hit a switch at the bottom of the shaft and shut down. But on the other hand, the passengers are now trapped and one of them has left the oven on and the pizza is going to be ruined. So for the meantime, we have a Renault 19 16 valve in reverse, a burnt pizza to this. This is a Schindler phase loss and reversal detector. Um, isn't it just a motor? But don't despair because things will make a lot more sense in a moment. This footage originates from a different video. Two lifts from 1968 and the motor room. There was something very odd in the control cabinet. It's this, a motor. But why is there a motor shut away in a cabinet? And it doesn't even turn anything. And what's the point of a motionless motor? If you haven't seen our exclusive visit to this old motor room, then please visit parts one and two by clicking them here or from the video description. It's probably best to go back to basics for a second. Everyone should like our three phase electricity supply because without it, we wouldn't have any power. Our houses connect to a neutral, then to one of the phases. The voltage between neutral and one of the phases is 240 volts AC in the UK. These were known as red, yellow and blue phases. It doesn't matter which phase you are connected to, the result is 240 volts. Houses are generally divided out amongst the phases. If we were to lose a phase, then only houses connected to that phase lose power. For industry, however, all three phases are delivered into the premises for things like motors. I'm coming back to this topic in a moment, but in summary, the voltages that exist between each of the phases adds up to 415 volts AC. Perfect for running powerful motors. In addition, all three phases provide a circular magnetic field to make the motor turn. To make the motor turn the other way, just swap over two of the phase wires with some relays. A phase outage or failure will affect only the houses it supplies, which is not too much of a big deal. But don't forget that all three phases are supplied into industrial buildings. For a motor, this is a big deal. The loss of a phase will cause the motor to lose some of its power and create an imbalance, which will produce abnormal noises and vibrations. The motor will also pull more electrical current from the remaining phases and it will start to get hot. The loss of a phase for a lift motor cannot be allowed to happen. The three phases go around the outside of a motor and create a magnetic field that rotates 50 times per second. That's exactly what this motor wants to do. It wants to rotate, but Schindler will not allow it because this motor can only turn for a very short distance. It turns just enough to hold down this switch. With the switch pressed, everything is okay. And the three phases are then supplied to the cabinet. If a phase were to be lost, then the motor will become underpowered and the spring inside the switch fights back. The switch releases and the lift is shut down, preventing the loss of a phase from affecting the main lift motor. When the power is restored, the motor rotates and pushes the switch. 
and power is immediately reconnected to the cabinet. As mentioned already, a motor turns clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on how the phases are connected to it. These are swapped around by the up and down relays to make the motor go the other way. The Schindler phase loss or reversal motor connects directly to the incoming phases and should only spin in one direction. But if someone were to work on the main supply outside of the building or even in the cabinet and accidentally connect the phases up the wrong way around, then this motor would spin the other way. Away from the switch. The switch is released and the power is cut, preventing the main lift motor going the wrong way. A motor that isn't spinning normally gets quite hot because inside a motor, part of it there is a fan which spin around with the motor which is designed to bring in air to keep it cool. But this motor is designed to stay cool even under constant power. It's not even warm to the touch. Now Schindler seemed to like using motors for everything, including this unique motorized brake release. Other manufacturers must also incorporate a phase loss or reversal device into their cabinets. Back in the 50s, 60s and 70s, each created their own designs. This is an old Benny lift. Inside the cabinet, the bar in the middle is rotated anti-clockwise by the magnetic field from the phases. But only if three phases are present and the field is going in the right direction. The bar contains a tilt switch which cuts the power to the cabinet if the left side is left facing downwards. Express lifts also use the same type of system. Behind this box are rotating fields coming from the three phases. Operated from behind is this glass tube, which is rotated clockwise. Inside the tube should be a pool of mercury, which when tilted downwards, the mercury flows between two contacts at the bottom of the tube. Should the tube tilt back down, the mercury flows away from the connections, disconnecting the circuit and shutting down the cabinet. So there we have it, the Schindler Phase Loss and Reversal Detector, also known as a motor which is not allowed to turn very much. That is quite fast because um, one thing I noticed is I take a lot of time and effort to bring you quality, interesting videos. I'm all about quality, not quantity. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please consider subscribing to the Mr. Matt and Mr. Che channel.